That's right, the face you're making right now is the same one I made when I saw that shit live. Welcome back everyone to Grave Uncut. As it may be shocking for me to say right now, it's true. I went to Warp Tour. Now, I'm not necessarily a big fan of punk rock. I'm honestly more of a hard rock and metal kind of guy. But, all in all, I enjoyed it. I feel like I'm about to trigger Reyes just by saying that phrase. Hmm, that's weird. It says that Zeus is the ultimate thought and he cannot keep it in his pet. Damn it, not again. No, Jill, you piece of shit. Grieve and cut. Oh, you and your shitty music. Stop listening to it. I gave you good music two years ago. Well, anyway, I went with my girlfriend. Now, with all good things that happen during the event, there's always going to be something that just royally pisses me off. For starters, if you're running a music festival, and you have hundreds, even thousands of people going to the event, maybe, just maybe, have more than one fucking water station. Seriously, how fucking dumb is this? And don't give me that shit. Oh, it's been like that since 1997. I don't give a shit. It's 2000 fucking 18. You know how popular your event is. Have more fucking water stations. Especially if it's going to be 100 degrees or so. Honestly, come on now. Everybody's fucking getting dehydrated, passing the fuck out. Hell, I almost fucking passed out. It was fucking insane. 12 hours in under the fucking hot sun. Only one water station. I swear... There was like a fucking line of 200 plus people waiting just to fill up their water bottles and shit. And I've seen people filling up seven or eight water bottles. And for those motherfuckers, fuck you too. I understand you're fucking dehydrated, but fucking take consideration for everybody else at the fucking event, you piece of shit. Seriously, one goddamn water station? For the people running the venues, act like you actually give a shit about the freaking people coming to your event. More than. Have more than one water station. That's probably fucking why Warp Tour. This is like the last fucking Warp Tour. Maybe in the future, when they decide to bring Warp Tour back, maybe two water stations. Now for the fucker that was rapping. At a punk rock show. Don't get me wrong, coming out on stage with the gold Zelda cart uh, Super, Nintendo Super Nintendo thing around your freaking neck. That was interesting. I saw that and I was just like, is that Zelda? Anyway. Were you fucking lost? Seriously, I've never seen anything in my life confuse me more than seeing a guy at a punk rock show. Rapping. I've seen so many motherfuckers confused in that state. They're like looking at each other like, What the fuck are we doing here? What the fuck is this shit? I've never been more confused uh, seeing anything on a stage in my life. Like, this guy's fucking rapping sucked, this corny ass motherfucker. I, I honestly have no fucking clue what he was doing there. I don't even think he he knew what the fuck he was doing there. He mentioned that he worked with Weird Al Yankovic, but I'm pretty sure Weird Al would be like, I don't know this motherfucker. I don't know this motherfucker at all. Seriously, this is another thing, like the fucking booking. Like, you book this fucking guy, especially before the last four fucking bands. Seriously, fuck off. And finally, if you are over 200 pounds, the last place and last thing you should be doing is going over my fucking head. Crowd surfing. Seriously, if you're over 200 pounds, don't fucking crowd surf. I understand. Oh, everybody else is... You're gonna fucking knock somebody out. You're gonna fucking land on somebody and hurt them. Hell, there was a crowd surfer that freaking almost took my head off. Hell, there was a crowd surfer that almost took my girlfriend's head off. It ain't fucking fun, and... Pff, she could have gotten really hurt, everybody could have gotten really fucking hurt. And nobody should be going over my, a guy my height. I'm over six feet freaking tall, I'm 6'5". If you're going over my head, you're in the wrong goddamn airspace. Seriously, take consideration for... And the first... The worst fucking part of it is, like, one of the acts at the... at Warp Tour. During one of their songs, before one of their songs, they turned around and said, If you haven't crowd surfed yet, I suggest you do it now. 
I saw so many motherfuckers going overhead. It's not even funny. I just simply had the look of, well, this. But yeah, that pretty much sums up like the m stuff that pissed me off big time. And for the most part, the music wasn't all that bad. Most of the bands were pretty good. Except for that little rapping motherfucker. Like, you find a new venue. that You don't belong there. Get the fuck out of there. Now that I think of it, I wonder if Reyes is losing his shit right now. Ow. Oh. I feel like I'm being split in two. Oh, shit, it's safe for music. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.